Okay, so you're lost in the woods, and you, you don't know where you're at, and you have a phone, but my phone's dead, and it's old anyway, uh, and then you have this stuff. So let me just show you the stuff I have. I'm gonna, we're going to find out where to go, and I think this is going to work, uh, but I actually haven't done it, so I, I know the idea. So I have an empty water bottle. I have this terrible old flashlight. Um, I have my Swiss Army knife. I have some electric tape which I don't really need, and have some paper clips, of course. This is the key, paper clips, right? We always want to use paper clips. And then I have a marker, which I don't actually need. I also have this bottle of water. I'm going to need that too, but it's off to the side because it doesn't really fit. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. How do we find our way? I'm going to, I'm going to show you this. I made a picture. This is the Earth. And the Earth makes a magnetic field. So this is the North Pole. That's where Santa Claus lives. That's why there's a big pole up there. And this is also bears. Bears are up here, right? That's spelled wrong. No bears. That's what uh, Arctic means bears. Antarctic means no bears. There's no bears. There's penguins down here. And there's bears up there. That's the easy way to remember. Uh, so, but the, the important thing is that although we call this the North Pole, it's not. It's the South Magnetic Pole. It's the direction the north end of a compass would point. Uh, so we call that north, but it's actually because magnets are, are attracting. A compass is a magnet, and the earth is a magnet, and they attract, and so they align the needle lines north direction so you can find the direction north. That's what we're going to do. Here's how we're going to do that. I'm basically going to get a paper clip and make it a magnet. Now, a paper clip is not a magnet, but it can be magnetized because it's a ferromagnetic material. So the basic idea is to take a battery, run a wire into a loop, and put the magnet, the, the paper clip in there. If I do this, if I have the current going this way, the magnetic field is going to be into the paper so I know the direction. So I don't, I, can, I don't just make it a magnet, I know which way it's going to make a magnet by putting it in this loop. Okay, I might get that way backwards because you have to use your right hand rule, but I'm going to do it anyway. So let's start here with my flashlight. <clears throat> it's not going to really help, but I can take it apart and I do have batteries. So I'm going to use the battery. Now I need a wire and I need a compass. So let's start with the compass part first. Uh, I don't want the whole the whole thing. I need to cut this. So I don't really have a great cutter. This may work. Let's see if I can use this to cut. I think that this part right here, I'm not the best. I'm just going to bend it there. See, I did that. Now, if the magnetic interaction between this and the Earth is very tiny, so I need to actually put it on something, and I'm going to put it on in this little cap. And I'm just going to set it in there like that. Now, I want to go ahead and mark one end of this with a marker. That's going to be my north. Right, because otherwise I won't know which way is north and which way is south, which will still be useful. And that's not super bright. But I didn't have a red Sharpie. You could put a piece of tape on there, any way to mark it. You could scratch it up, whatever works for you. Now I need to put this into something so it can float. And I'm going to take this and just cut it up. Let's just use the knife. So I don't need the whole thing. I'm going to cut right there. There. Now I can pour some water in that from my from my drinking bottle. Now I once I'm done making my measurement, I can put the water back in my in my water bottle so I don't lose it. So I'm going to put this in there, but I need to first magnetize that, and now I'm going to use my terrible old phone. Yes, this one is old and. I know I don't want to cut these up, and I don't even know how it will work, but I'm going to use this wire to make an electromagnet. So let's just take, this may not work, but you know what, I'm doing this live. I'm doing it live for you. So the scissors, I really love the scissors on the, there I did it. So one of these wires has a bunch of tiny wires in there. We need to get to just one of those wires. So I'm going to just cut the rubber off of this and pull it. And this is something that you just need to practice doing, but there you go. Now, what 
options do I have? These wires are terrible because they're so super tiny. I have four wires. I have blue, red, green, and then red and green. Let's just try the blue. No. I'm going to try the red and green because it's Christmas colors and I'm trying to get to the North Pole. Now, this is tough. So you could try to cut that off and it's not going to work. I'm going to scrape it off, but let's just get the other end over here. Um, I'm going to take, let's just go all the way to the end. Yep, I did it. Okay, now I need to cut this part off again. Be careful. There, I did it. Okay, so see, this one has red and blue. So I'm going to start with red and red. I'm going to do red and red. And I'm going to try this. Let's just take this wire and see if we can scrape the red. There, there, there is an insulation on there, so I need to get that insulation off. But it's a very delicate wire. Look at that. I don't even know what I'm doing here. This wire may not work. Look at the, each one of those is insulated, it looks like. That's crazy. This makes me not happy. Okay, well, let's see. I could burn it. Or what I'm going to do is cheat. Okay. So I think that if I was in a pinch, I could get this to work. Okay, but I don't want to waste your time and my time. So here is a wire, another wire. This, in theory, should work, right? It should work. You should be able to wrap this around. What I would do is get the insulation off then wrap this around my thing, as many loops as I can, and then connect it to the battery. And I'm not gonna use that wire because it's just, the wires are tiny. I'm gonna use this wire. So this wire I've already stripped and it's much thicker and I can actually get the ends. So I'm going to take this and wrap it around my I want to leave a piece over here so I can connect it to a battery. Now I'm going to wrap it this way. More loops equals better loops. I also like this wire because it's stiff and it holds its shape. Okay, so let's look at right here. I want the magnetic field to go this way. So I need the current going this way. And if you look at the way I have this, that means this, I want it to go this way. This needs to be connected to the positive and that to the negative. So let's do that. Here's my battery. This is the positive. I'm just going to hold it on there. And this is the negative. I'm going to hold that on there. And that's it. Okay, I'm just going to hold it there for 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1, 5, 1,000. Okay, that's good enough. Now it should be magnetized. I just need to get, pull this out. I got it in there tight. I don't want to get the, there we go. Okay, I still have my north end. Here's my cap. Put this in there. Drop that in there. Now, yeah, I don't want it touching the wall. And you'll notice it's rotating. Oh, I didn't, you can't see that. It's rotating. Notice it's, you know it's working because it's going back the other way, right? So this way is north. And if it doesn't stick, it's not the greatest compass. It's getting a weird uh, interaction with the side. Okay, let me show you that it does indeed work. I'm going to take an actual compass. This is a magnet. That one's pointing north. If I bring this in, I can do this closer. Let's see what happens to the needle as it as I bring this closer. See, it repels the north. That means that this is indeed the north, repelling that north. See how it bends away? It's not very strong, but it does work. Compass in the woods, just some stupid stuff. There you go, paperclip and using a paperclip.